what's up it's your girl kiana talented and today i am bringing you a makeup video so today's look is actually an inspired makeup look from it's zay bay bay i saw her post this look on instagram and i just knew i had to recreate it so here we are today so i'm going to be showing you guys my take on it i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys watch until the end and if you do enjoy this video make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and also turn on your post notifications so you'll get notified every single time i post a video and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Jumping right into this look, I'm taking my L'Oreal concealer in the shade of 415 and applying that all over my lid and then blending it out with a blending brush. Then going into my Take Me To Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics, I'm taking that red shade with a defining crease brush and focusing this color right in my crease. Now going into my Lamazi Cosmetics palette, I'm taking that orange shade with a blending brush and I'm just going to blend out the edges of the red. Even though red and orange are like similar in colors and you know have the same tone, it just makes it a lot easier to blend out the colors and it's just going to serve as a nice transition color for my look. So after blending out the orange on my lid, I'm just going back into my red shade and just cleaning it up and bringing the color back so that everything, you know, transitions nicely. So now it's time to deepen up the outer crease. So I'm still using my Lamazi Cosmetics palette and I'm taking that dark brown that I just showed you guys with a crease brush and I'm just gonna focus this color on the outer V of my lid. So now we're gonna darken up the outer V even more and we're gonna go in with the black from that palette and I'm using the same brush that I used for the brown and I'm just gonna also go back and forth between my brown brush and my red brush just to make sure that this outer V is blended really well because you know you want this look to just blend and transition really nicely so you know just a lot of blending went into this you know this is a video you guys this is sped up but trust me a lot of blending went into this eye look as you guys can see right now i'm just blending and smoking everything out so trust me you guys when i do makeup you know it takes time it doesn't just take literally 10 minutes you feel me it's a lot of blending so I'm going to cut my crease with my handy D&D favorite concealer, the L'Oreal Concealer in the shade of 410. And I'm just using a regular schmegular eyeshadow flathead brush. It was a dollar from a dollar store. And I'm just going to cut my crease. Now jumping into my NYX Off Tropic palette, I'm gonna take that green shade and I'm gonna blend this on the middle portion of my eye and fading it into the black so that you know everything transitions nicely. Going back into the Lamazi palette, I took that yellow shade and I popped this on the inner part of my eye. Now I'm taking this glitter from IZME in the shade bronze and I'm just gonna line my cut crease and as always I'm using Duels Lash Glue in Clear. Thank you. 
Now I'm just taking some liquid liner and this liquid liner is from LA Girl Cosmetics and this is in the shade black and I'm just lining my eyelid and then the part of my eye that I lined that was closest to the black I'm just taking some black shadow and just mattifying that so jumping all the way to you know me concealing my face you guys I totally forgot to um, press the record button when I was doing my foundation routine so my apologies for that but I do have a ton of other videos on my channel I will link some down in the description box you guys so you can go check that out if you really want to know what my foundation routine is and stuff like that I actually do have an um, updated video coming up soon so don't worry about that your girl gonna show you guys how I be getting this flawless face more into detail but for my concealer today to highlight all my you know highlighted areas I use the LA girl pro concealer in the shade of fawn and I just blended it out with a brush in my beauty blender as you guys just saw and now I'm gonna go in and set all of these you know highlighted areas with the setting powder and I'm using the banana deep setting powder from makeup revolution this is like one of my favorite products this is like my go-to product for setting my face I love the color of it and I just love that it's you know not too drying of a setting powder it doesn't really dry me out but it does you know have my face oil free you feel me like it does keep your girl mattified but you know not too drying if that makes sense <laughs> now i'm contouring with my black radiance true complexion contour palette and i'm just using the darkest shade in that palette and we you know you know just contouring his face to the gauze like period So here I'm smoking out my bottom lash line. So I did a combination of black and green. And then towards the inner part of my lash line, I did go in with the yellow eyeshadow that I used on my eyelid. And then I also did add black liner to my waterline. So now I'm bronzing my face just a little bit and I use the shadow from my James Charles Morph palette just to, you know, warm up my face a little bit more. So because I am a blush girl, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me blush in the shade Berry and I am just going to go very, very crazy with the blush. <laughs> Did y'all catch that? Was that cute? Did y'all like that? <laughs> So to highlight today, because y'all know I'm a highlight girl, I love to glow. I'm using the Wet n Wild highlighter in the, I don't know what this highlighter is called off the top of my head, but it will be listed down in the description box. So go check the description box. And today's lip combo is going to be a brown lip pencil with this Revlon lipstick in the shade I don't know. So check the description box with my Fenty gloss bomb in the shade of fussy and then also a nyx butter gloss in the shade i don't know so make sure you check the description box because you know that's where all the products that i use will be okay because you know i can't remember stuff off of the top of my head so check the description box for any of those products <laughs> Alright you guys, so here is the finished look. Do you guys love it as much as I do? I'm so freaking proud of myself at how it turned out. Do you guys think I nailed it or failed it? Let me know down in the comment section below. But if you guys think that I nailed it, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel so that can be my reward, period. Also give this video a thumbs up because what? Sharing is caring, y'all. That's supposed to be my new little saying or whatever. But I hope you guys like this video. I love creating this look. It was super bomb. It's for the culture, period. Also, do you guys like my new intro? Comment that down below too. I forgot to talk about that, period. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I will catch you guys guys in my next one thank you guys so much for tuning in bye